Hello, wrenches, and welcome to the Wrench Turns Podcast Mechanic Minute, the show where we talk about relevant topics, but more specifically in a much shorter period of time, things like emotional intelligence, productivity, general health and well-being of us as technicians, little tidbits that I can try and come up with to help you in your day. Today, I want to talk to you about separation. What do I mean by separation? Well, quite often we as adults and mechanics and people who work for a living, I hear on a regular basis, you know, don't take that home, right? Don't take that home with you. You know, leave work at work and, you know, don't take it home. But we technically don't really hear about the same phrase in the opposite direction, right? We don't hear, don't take home to work. What do, you mean, what do I mean by that? I gave a more specific example. What if you had a fight with your wife this morning before work? What if your children disappointed you this morning or last night before they went to bed? And by disappointing, I mean, do you feel guilty that you didn't teach them something and then they failed? Or did you screw up at home in some way? Like you put a nail through the wall, putting a, a picture up and put water everywhere into your bathroom. Is that eating at you the next day, in the morning, during the day, while you're trying to fix a car? Is that slowing you down because instead of fi- trying to figure out what the next diagnostic step is, all you can think about is the last time you had an argument with your wife last night over how overcooked the dinner was that you cooked because you barbecued? Are you taken home with you to work? Separation. Are you able to separate home from work? It's not just separating from work, from home. Learning to separate those things is a long, arduous road. Being able to separate home from work, work from home, is a skill set that takes time and energy and effort to master. I don't have it mastered. Most people don't have it mastered. But what you can do is take small baby steps into figuring out if it's work affecting home or home or affecting work or both because it's a cycle you're one or the other you're sleeping you're working or you're at home conscious so you have to think what's affecting what and how's it affecting if you don't know that if you can't immediately come off the top of your head that's why i preach journaling writing down the steps between the steps and guess what you don't have to keep the journaling at work You take it home and you can be journaling at home too. Little things that are nagging you at home, whether it's something at home that's bothering you, write it down. Get it out of your head, get it on the paper, so at least you're not thinking about it right now. You can put it out of your mind until you go back and review your notes. Now, if you're having trouble at home, I'm not your guy to talk to about it. There are all kinds of professional therapists out there, Brian Wall being one of them. Search him on LinkedIn, check him out. He's, he is the kind of person, he is the doctor that you need to seek out if those are the kinds of troubles that you're having. But if work is affecting home, we need to come up with some processes, some policies, some internal mindset changes for you at work so you can be more successful at work so you don't take it home with you. Thank you for listening to the Red Service Podcast, today's Mechanic Minute. I appreciate all of you for listening, subscribing, watching, sharing with all of your friends and family, your other uh, technicians. I'm so very thankful for all of it. Remember, negative pushes, positive pulls, and always clean your toys before you put them away.